So for today's video, I buy more stupid sh** so you don't have to. Let's get started. Universal Interactive Studios production. Again, created and developed by Naughty Dog. Crash, 
trash. Why must you always muck in my mud? Oh, look, I have a mask helping me, too. We will find out which one is more powerful soon enough. Works fine. I don't know if you noticed, but it gives you like the button directions at the bottom of the screen there. Somebody put back as BCAK instead of BACK. Bit of slow down here, but How round one fight. <laughs> Seems to fight, you know, work just fine. It's just a couple more things I wanted to go over with this thing real quick. There is no on off button for the system. So when you're in game mode, it comes with a remote. The remote has a power button, but if you push the power button, nothing happens. It doesn't work in game mode. The only way to turn it on and turn it off, apparently, in game mode, is to actually unplug it. Now, when you unplug, when you unplug the... I'm going to unplug it here. There is a SD card in the back. If you take the SD card out, plug it back in, this loads up into Android mode in Android TV mode. So you can go in, there's a browser, video, apps. You got your Kodi, Netflix, 
go into Play Store, install different apps in that file browser. You know, typical Android TV type thing. YouTube. Oh, for some reason it won't connect. I don't know what KD player is. Oh, Cody. <laughs> There's nothing in the library, of course, because the SD card's unplugged. Uh, let's see here if there's anything else here. You can go into Google Play, I guess, and download more apps. Got a web browser. On something like this, I don't know how much I would necessarily trust it. You know, this is a Chinese box after all, so you go start putting in your Google password or your you know, Netflix or whatever. It's hard to say where those you know, Facebook, same thing. I don't know if I'd necessarily trust this thing with any passwords or anything like that, so might not be the best solution, but it functions, so go back to home. And with this, you can power it off when you're in the smart TV mode. It'll shut down. If you look, there's a red light now on the box, but the fan's still going. So if I go up over here now, plug the SD card back in, and hit the power button, It'll boot back into the game system. The problem is, though, anyway, the problem is there's no way to get from this to the Android TV box. So if I like go into the back here and I unplug the SD card, it doesn't take it out of the game mode. So the only way to get out of this at this point is just unplug it. I don't think it'll hurt anything. I don't think it makes, you know, that big of a deal, but it's just a little inconvenient. So that's just a couple of the gripes that I have with it. And the remote doesn't work at all when it's in game mode. You can only use the controllers. Anyway, I think that's going to do it for this video. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If there's any games or any systems you want me to go over with this, uh, let me know. Um, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.